In the world of private aviation, when Boeing and GE Aviation joined forces to launch the Boeing business jet in 1996, they essentially handed customers the keys to a brand new 737 airliner and said, make it your own. For a cool $36 million, you could take a factory fresh plane and transform it into the bespoke, ultra-luxurious private jet of your dreams. You, your dream jet, and the entire world as your playground. What stories, what adventures await those who seize the keys to this luxurious mystery in the sky? Let's find out. The Background Well, there's a twist. It's not just any 737. Boeing worked their magic by taking the sleek fuselage of a 737-700 and giving it a romantic unity with the larger fuel-hungry wing of a 737-800, complete with the essential landing gear and center fuselage section. The result? A magnificent beast of an aircraft with the potential to travel an astonishing 7,130 miles while pampering eight passengers like royalty. It's powered by the CFM-56 7B27 engines born from a partnership where GE has a cool 50% ownership stake. As time went by, Boeing decided to turn up the luxury dial even further. They introduced not one, but two stretched out versions of the BBJ, namely the BBJ-2 and BBJ-3. The BBJ-2 is like a mansion in the sky, with 25% more cabin space than the original. However, it comes with a minor caveat, a slightly shorter range. Why, you ask? Well, it turns out that the BBJ isn't the best when it comes to stashing away luggage, thanks to those extra belly tanks. And in 2005, Boeing decided to go big with the BBJ-3, based on the next-generation 737-900ER. But like its sibling, it had to sacrifice some range, clocking in 920 to 1,150 miles less than the original BBJ. Customization Now let's talk about the glamorous world of customization. You see, the price of an aircraft could easily skyrocket by $10 million in 1998 just by dressing up the cabin. Early customers were promised that these transformations, from paint jobs to interior overhauls, auxiliary fuel systems to sleek winglets, would be a breeze, taking only 12 to 18 months. But as with many grand plans, reality had a way of intervening. Boeing didn't play well with sharing technical data, the FAA's aircraft modification approval process turned out to be trickier than a Rubik's Cube, and some completion centers and vendors overreached in their ambitions. Interior It was like ordering a new home but realizing it's not a straightforward process. It's more like a slow bleed and a battle with flames when constructing a massive mansion. The BBJ's cabin is spacious, measuring 79 feet and 2 inches in length, and a generous 11 feet and 7 inches in width. That adds up to a whopping 807 square feet of floor space, making it perfect for a gourmet galley, a cozy crew rest area, three lavatories, swanky lounges, a formal conference or dining room, a couple of luxury private staterooms, and even a full-fledged shower. Imagine having all that at 40,000 feet. In the beginning, no two BBJs were similar. Each one was a unique masterpiece. Interiors ranged from lavish pleasure palaces where you could easily forget you were flying to practical corporate shuttles with room for up to 50 of your closest colleagues. The Changes Now, you might be wondering, what's changed since those early days of the Boeing business jet when customization was a daunting task? Well, here's the exciting part. Over the years, the aviation industry has learned a lot. A select group of completion and refurbishment centers have honed their craft to perfection, and they're now offering prepackaged options for BBJs. This means that creating your dream flying palace has become more accessible and streamlined. Price. Now, let's talk business, or shall we say, bargains. If you're in the market for a BBJ, you're in for a pleasant surprise. Lightly used, first-generation BBJs are up for grabs with prices ranging from a tempting $19 million to $48 million. These elegant birds come with flight hours as low as $2,000 for a 10-year-old model or as high as $10,000 for one that rolled off the assembly line back in 1998. For instance, a 2006-era BBJ with around 3,900 hours could be yours for an average price of $34.4 million. Now, you might think 10,000 hours is a lot, but in the world of aviation, it's just the beginning.
These aircraft are built to meet rigorous airline specifications, and some 737s go on to fly well beyond the 100,000-hour mark. Considering that a brand new BBJ MAX 7 is likely to cost around $100 million, a pre-owned BBJ sounds like a savvy choice that won't break the bank. And there's more good news. The BBJ is the gift that keeps on giving when it comes to durability and availability. This airborne beauty is built on an airframe with over 10,000 examples soaring through the skies worldwide. Mechanics, parts, and pilots are in abundant supply. It's a dream come true for anyone looking for reliability and peace of mind. Hangar. But hold on, before you dive headfirst into the world of supersized cabins, there are a few special considerations you should keep in mind. Let's start with the big one. Where on earth are you going to store this magnificent flying palace? You see, the BBJ stands tall at 41 feet from the ground to the top of its tail, nearly 15 feet taller than a Gulfstream G650. So, most hangars won't accommodate this majestic beast. And while many BBJs can thrive outdoors, keeping them spick and span is no easy task. And then there's the matter of weight. A fully loaded BBJ tips the scales at a hefty 171,000 pounds. If your operations involve airfields with weight restrictions or locations where density altitude poses a challenge, the BBJ might not be the ideal choice for you. But here's where the story takes an intriguing turn. Most of those original BBJs are now approaching those milestones in life that we all dread, major inspection intervals. However, don't cringe just yet because there's a silver lining here. It's like finding out your vintage car needs a little TLC, but ends up running like a dream once it gets some love. In fact, this aging process can be a blessing in disguise. Take Switzerland's jet aviation basil, for instance. They pulled off a brilliant move some time back by combining those pesky inspections with a full-blown refurbishment. You see, the secret sauce to keeping those refurbishment costs in check is not to tinker with any of the aircraft's structural elements. That means no moving interior doors or walls. We're all about preserving the original layout. Oh, and here's a pro tip. Make sure to snag the original data package from the owner or the center that did the first completion. It's like having the blueprint for a treasure chest. Exterior. Now onto the fun part. Okay, wait, before that, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more content. And if that's done, let's look at the makeover. Picture a fresh coat of exterior paint, plush upholstery fabrics that scream luxury and sleek veneers. And don't even get us started on the soundproofing. It's not only better than before, but lighter too. Connectivity. But that's not all. We're living in the age of connectivity, so you'd better believe a new cabin management system and Wi-Fi are must-haves. And let's not forget the lower cabin altitude upgrade. It's a game changer. Reducing cabin altitude from 8,000 to 6,500 feet at 41,000 feet. The cherry on top? A spruced-up cockpit with modern marvels like the future aircraft navigation system fans and ADS-B out. It's like giving your jet a high-tech makeover that even James Bond would envy. So, how much for this grand transformation? Well, set aside a budget of $2 million to $5 million, and you'll have a BBJ that not only looks brand new, but is loaded with all the latest bells and whistles. It's ready to take to the skies for decades to come, offering one of the comfiest cabins you could ever dream of. What do you think about it? Do you think that it may be just a little bit overpriced? As you decide on that, you might actually be surprised to know there is a $200 million jet out there. Click on this link to take a peek inside the $200 million private Boeing 787 Dreamliner. See you there.